Hey everyone, welcome back for another update on our house build in Kenya. We've been very busy. I'm excited to share what we've accomplished so far. On the last video that I posted, I had shown you that the contractors were starting to put down some bricks and the house was starting to take shape. In this update, I'm going to talk about some of the key things that they've accomplished in the last few days since the last time I posted. But first things first, as we are scrolling down uh, this walkway, you can see that the walls, the walls are up to about 10 foot tall right now, especially the walls that are covering the bedrooms. In my last video, someone had commented if these were regular concrete blocks. And as you can see from this shot, they are indeed concrete blocks, not regular bricks. In my last video, I mentioned one of the reasons why I went with concrete blocks was the cost. The reason being is I was intending to plaster both the exterior and interior walls. This will give the house a smooth, finished look and provide a good surface for painting. I want to paint the exterior a single, solid, neutral color, unlike the way we're used to building houses in Kenya, where the brick is exposed or the natural stone is exposed, and usually that stone comes in multiple different colors. I was trying to have a neutral, single color all throughout. As you can see in this shot right here, we have the retaining wall being extended all the way to the fence and they will be turning left and going to wrap around the entire property. By the way, check out those flip-flops. If you know, you know. And with most of the bedroom walls up, the contractors had switched focus and started working on the living room and the kitchen walls. As you can see a couple of days later, the kitchen walls and the pantry walls were up. And as the cameraman is panning to the right, you can see the large window above the kitchen. One thing I didn't mention is how limited of a space that we have. The backyard is going to be a very narrow space. So we're trying to use as much real estate as possible. This shot right here is showing what's going to be a courtyard and the plan is to plant some grass and maybe a tree out here. The section that you're looking at straight ahead is going to be housing the batteries for the solar system that we plan on installing for this house. As we walk right back into the house, I am really excited about the large windows we've incorporated into the design of this house. The living room window is going to be a massive 12 foot wide and the bedroom windows are a generous 10.8 foot wide. This will bring in plenty of natural light and create a spacious feel. And from the living room, you're going to turn left and you will enter the hallway, which is leading down towards the guest bathroom, which is spacious enough. And then from the guest bathroom, you will enter into the first bedroom. The first bedroom is a spacious 5.5 meters by 5.5 meters. This first window is 10.8 foot wide. And as we pan back out from the first bedroom, we're going to immediately turn into the second bedroom. And as you can see, the window is also 10.8 foot wide. And this bedroom is also a generous 5.5 meters by 5.5 meters wide. The bathroom is also a very wide space. On this beautiful day, as you can see, some of the form that was shaping the columns have been taken off and the contractors are going around trying to put a little smoothing edges on some of the pillars and columns that were set out in the previous few days. And although I like the look of these concrete blocks, I cannot wait until we reach to the point where we start doing plaster works so we can cover up all these um, rough edges and make these surfaces smooth. Also, one of the challenges with this project has been the fact that I'm not in Kenya while all this is going on. Every day when I wake up and have an update from my sister, it's like Christmas all over again. In this shot, we are in the dining room, scanning the entire kitchen. I cannot wait to make a meal in this kitchen. As the camera pans to the left, you can see the contractor is putting final touches on a column, which is going to be at the foot of the staircase. Here we are in the kitchen now, looking out through this sliding glass door. Once again, the theme continues, large windows, large doors. And as the camera slightly starts panning to the left, you will see that the dining room window is 8.5 foot wide. 
keeping with the theme of large windows throughout this house. As the days have gone by, the contractors have done a great job installing the headers above the windows and doors, which is a crucial step in ensuring the structural integrity of the building. I'd like to take a moment and actually emphasize why it's important to find a verified certified contractor to do this work. If these headers and beams are set in the wrong angles and they're not done properly, it could mess up with the structural integrity of your house. So please take the time and hire qualified professionals to do the job the right way the first time around. A day later and to prepare for the ring beam casting, the contractor has been setting up false works around all the windows and doors. False works is a temporary structure that will support the concrete as it cures. That's it for this update. I'm pleased with how the construction is going and I'll keep you up posted on the next steps. Thank you for watching. And as always, take care of yourself and be kind to one another. <music>